have uh, two areas of questioning. <laughs> One is, um, can you uh, give, me a sense, give us a sense of whether the president is just is disappointed by the Afghan military performance, j just given the amount of time and money that um, taxpayer, uh, taxpayer funds went to training the forces? Well, I don't think we have the luxury of just feeling disappointed. Um, our view and the president's view is that uh, now is the time uh, for them to utilize the training, the assistance, uh, the security uh, guidance uh, that they have been provided uh, over the last two decades, and they will continue to be provided uh, and uh, and unite as a Afghan leaders, both the military and and uh, and leaders who are leading the country to push back against the Taliban. Uh, that's our view. We, the president continues to believe that it is not inevitable uh, that the Taliban uh, takes over uh, Kabul or the country, and that uh, they uh, need to show political will at this point to push back. And obviously, there's a political process that we continue to support. But should there should there be a look at whether the the right training was provided? or whether um, the funds were, were used well. I mean, there's just so much time and money went into this effort, and it seems that these cities are falling quite quickly. Well, would there be a reassessment that maybe next time there would be a different type of training? I, I, I certainly would point you to DOD for any assessment along those lines. But I think there's no question that over the course of two decades, the amount, to your point, of training, of assistance, of uh, security equipment that has been provided is extensive, and we are continuing to propose uh, additional assistance in the form of $1 billion to ensure the Afghan Air Force and Special Mission Wing have the capabilities and maintenance to support ongoing combat operations, $1 billion to purchase and deliver key supplies for Afghan forces, $700 million to fund continued payment of salaries for Afghan soldiers. We, it is important to us, and it is a, a fundamental value to continue to be partners and support their effort, but ultimately is, is up to the Afghans to determine what their future looks like. And then I just wanted to um, follow up on questions by 